And here we are. Here we are. Here we go. What are little pads undefeated? Escape velocity. Not too far off. Five and two should be a good one. So let's see here. What are little pads that is a, a pretty much an extension of the wet IGL Invitational team, which is also undefeated. What a save! Outstanding. On the other side, Kalos tries to get up, takes a bump. Brody gets up, and he's going to droop it in. Brody rocking the Stocktane. So Simba touches against the wall, passes right back into the sure shot of Brodacious. Little pads up by one, 30, about 30 seconds in. Simba gets to the pass aspect. Callus gets up and the defense is there. Hex makes the save, gets tackled on the sideline. There's Brody. Callus can't get it out. Here comes Good Day on the sideline, gets over Simba, but Brody is there. He sends it into the field. Simba gets back, quick save for him. It's a good day, runs it up the wall. Still the 1-0 lead, but as I was saying, what are little pads? Almost an identical roster to the Watermelon Eden Time Invitational team, which is undefeated, doing, doing tremendously, especially now that playoffs have begun. So it stands to reason that both teams will be pretty tough to beat. And uh, credit to Kepler. After that initial goal, they're just standing tough, staying sturdy here with this 1-0 deficit that they're trying to overcome. Callus gets put around, turns around quick. He has all the members of Kepler just waiting on him, waiting to see what he'll do. Hex sends it to the backboard. Brody. Screams it away, doubles off the wall. Simba tries to line it up, and it's a little wide there. Now a demo. It's the worst for in the game. To the other side of the field, Brody looking to catch, and he does. 100 boosts, why not? Kalos touches, he does, did not like the look of that crossing, crossing the blue goal, crossing in the field. Good day doesn't want it. Simba driving down the field. Good day turns around for one. And Brody's able to collect the save. Aspect of hope. Gets caught up in the corner. Good day. Touching. Almost had himself a good day. A good play. Simba down the sideline. Other side of the field. Aspect of hope. Touches. Hex helps it out. Aspect is still there and we're tied. Ojo Cristiano, Cristiano del área, sigue Cristiano. No. One to one now. Kepler, not only just looking good, they're they're playing the part as well. Tied one, two minutes to go. It is quarterfinals. It's one thing to be undefeated in the regular season. It's a whole other thing to keep that streak alive all the way to the finals go 10 and 0 few teams have have done it and i'm sure they'll all tell you that it is not a walk in the park no matter how it seems fifty up the wall back down kalos Floats over to the orange corner. Down the field. Good day. Sends a shot, but he runs into Simba. Simba with a good 50. Good dunk. Callus sneaks underneath Aspect. But now it looks like the members of Little Pads are stuck in the corner. Another demo. 
brutality. 50 to the other side, under 60 seconds now. Big dunk by Simba. Simba looking to double, but good day is there at the front post. Both the captains going toe to toe on the goal line. Here's Hexy. And the shot aspect of Hope has been so good, especially on defense. Good day might lose possession here, and Aspect helps him out. Aspect showing us what he could do on offense. Gets the pass, and Brody gobbles up the play, and he's able to make the save. Watching Kalos. Kalos maybe looking for a pass here. Gets it, and Brody a little wide on the other side. Maybe we'll have overtime. There's a waterfall. Hexy puts it down. Simba backs in, back in, puts it in scoring contention, and Brody is met by a defender as well. Hexy goes flying. And this is down to the ground. They're going to give him an extra second. Fight! And here we are. Overtime. Next goal wins it. Perhaps more than what both teams bargained for. For game one of this best of five series, we don't, we do not have best of seven until next week. Aspect sends it down the sideline. Up, oh, over Hexy to the corner. Brody sends it the other way. Simba tries for the dunk, at least forces Aspect into an awkward top shot. And Brody's taking around, being a nuisance. And is able to get the 50. Here's Callus to the corner. He might be set up, but Good Day says no. Good Day says, here's a pass. And Brody says it stops there. There's another demo. Simba down the field. 100 boost to his name. Few defenders, and Good Day again gets the better of him. And a good save by Hexy. Here's Brody looking to end it here. Hexy drops it down. Aspect. Let's see what he has. Let's see if he wants to slice. And Brody on the hustle back doesn't allow for anything no hesitation there Brody been casting him all season long and he he just has this switch sometimes in certain games where he just he just wants to, to take control or he he knows exactly what the game requires of him they lost this one Kepler Kepler 11 good day this was trouble Kalos not ready for a beautiful pass by Hexy Trying to play defense off his back wall. And Kepler gets the win. Little pads. Scratching their head here. We'll wait to see the adjustment. I don't believe they have any... I don't believe they have any substitutes available tonight. Any sub players. But something to watch out perhaps for both teams. We're going to spectate here. Not sure what happened. Everyone's in the lobby. <laughs> and one sec, Brody needs a sec. One sec, Brody needs a sec. <laughs> All right, so that that is a nice little feature that they put in, where uh, you know they don't just start the match on a technicality. One sec. Man, hold, hold on, let me put my ugly mug on the screen real quick. What's up, generals in the building? Nebby Neb Neb. Um, I posted in the in the wet 
in the wet discord but are, are you down for uh for madverse city saturday still i know you gave me a, a drunk verbal confirmation man still got the work shirt on i don't i mean i usually just cast in what i worked in from that day i don't always wear a wear a polo I'm down. You now have sober and drunk confirmed. That's a double. The double. Oh, we're good to go. And silent pickle sneaking in here. I knew when I saw myself go from six viewers to seven that it was it was something special so something, something uh something wonderful was afoot what a pass what a save simba gets there not sure if the double commit helped or hurt but it was there but what up mr pickle well where are we gonna get a, a cast but what a double from brody brody needs a sec But once he's done with the sec, he comes with a goal. What a little pads up by one, but if you're just joining us, game one started ex almost exactly the same way, same timestamp and everything. And credit to Kepler, they were not only able to make a comeback, but hold on to it, force it to overtime and get the win. Simba sends a shot over to the net. Brody, line it up, pass to himself off the back wall. He gets smacked. What you doing, Tear? Simba gets up and another boom. Kalos here throwing his fender around. Brody gets to the save. Oh, I have seen this from Little Pads before. If they feel like they're getting bullied, they're getting demoed a little bit. They they don't try to play faster. They just match that physicality. But Hexy has another boom. Get him a body bag. Yeah. Touch down there, Hexy. Gets to the corner. Aspect of Hope sends one out. Looks good and Hexy finishes. This Kepler team. That was legitness. Brody up for the save, but a little slow to the take. And we are tied once more. And if you're little pads, this is an all too familiar feeling, except Kepler seems to just increase in confidence. The farther we get into this series, already leading by a game. Callus beams it over the other side of the field, but it's set back. Aspects might turn around. He has a shot. Meets up with Brody. Sends it wide, and it is insane. Outstanding. Simba. Up to Brody. Brody out of the corner. Hexy drops it down, sends a shot. Simba with a catch. Big dunk up to the backboard and Callus can't double. Brody sends it wide and I, I don't think I've seen Little Pads play this way before. Great action, great defense from Kepler, but seems like Little Pads are just off by a few, a few inches here, a few inches there. And Kepler is is damn good enough to take advantage of an off day and maybe just solidify themselves and show the rest of this tier one division one that they're the team to beat so far so good brody catches 70 boost for him 50 drops down to midfield 50 on the sidewall aspect of hope is there like his game good day sends it down the field Brody again goes slow beats aspect takes a bump and hexy down the field this is everything <laughs> the catch here the demo and hexy's able to walk it in and Kepler really 
taking it to little pads uh, again it's rare to see little pads like this they they are little what are little pads they are most of the roster from the wet invitational team so this is huge for kepler right now gallows on the sideline out of the field brody off the wall touches it in now it's what are little pads that have to Prove they can mount a comeback. Simba touches. That might end up in his net. Brody going to make a save. Hexy back. Aspect in the air. 50. And Kalos is going to guide it down to the ground. Brody looking for a pass. Maybe a too hard of a pinch than he was looking for. Little Pat stay on offense. Aspect of hope. Switches immediately. Trying to score on transition. Big dunk from him. But 60 seconds to go for a team in Kepler that already that already won an overtime matchup. They have to be very, very comfortable leading by one this late. Brody might not get up in time, and the shot is wide. Gallows up to the wall. Brody's there. Going the other way. Big dunk. Hexy launches, and Callus gets the save. Brody. Touches down. There's a hopper. Aspect again cuts it off. And they have this Little Pads team very well scouted. Little Pads having a tough time generating any of their usual stuff. They like ball movement. They like passes. And even their, their solo plays are falling short. Brody trying for one more seconds remaining hex he can't get to it off the backboard do they have a shooter and it's down to the ground look like Kalos. good game but little pads the seven and oh little pads might get swept here and we're gonna get a server change But at this point, Little Pads needs a... Let me see. I think it's going to black screen me. Little Pads needs a reverse sweep. To crown themselves a winner here. I don't think they've been even close to this position in the regular season. So captains have been re-pinged, server reset. We'll see if that if that helps the number one seed. And little pads. Coming off of a, an IGL championship last circuit as well. So it, it, it is. It is an unfamiliar air for them. Let's get it going. Brody touches up off the ceiling and Hexy. Sends to the sidewall. There's a shot. And there it is again. Simba off by inches. Callus to the ceiling. Tries to read it off the ground. Simba drives in with his Fennec. Good dunk for him. Brody's going to have to chase it to the corner. Him and Hexy get locked up. Hexy turns around. Wants to play from the back wall. Pops up. Good day is there. Makes a save. Puts it out. And good day has been a fantastic third man. As Hexy collects yet another save outside the orange net. 50. Up and out on the sidewall. There's a demo. I'm gonna come at you like a spider monkey. Back blue corner, Brody. Touches. Lamps down and we'll go to the young cub Simba. Looking for a pass to Callus. Callus not ready. He gets bulldozed into. Simba 
Floats one, and that one is wide as well. Hexy seemed like he was ready for anything. Does he already have the Nissan? Good for him. That chair drops it down. Kalos gets it up to Simba. Simba had a few options there. Drops it down, loses possession, and good day. Sends the other way. He's staring at Brody. Brody beats him. Aspect shuffles into the play. Hexy trying to swing around, but he's not able to make it out of the corner. Back here, Kalos gets buried on the sideline. Nice shooting opportunity. Still 0-0 for both teams. Very interesting. We had early goals in the previous matchup. Simba is by himself. Hexy tries to pass it up to the outlet, but it looks like there was some miscommunication. Simba drops it down, runs into good day. Kalos gets up. Back to his captain. Simba rolls it on the backboard, and Brody is going to wave dash his way back into defense as Kalos lets it rip again. <laughs> good day to the sidewall. Floats it. Hexy's there. And this is airtight defense for Kepler. And as I say it, Brody is just that damn good. Touches to the backboard, reads it again, and slots it in. And that's that's what you need to score against Kepler 11 tonight. They are just too good to score these run-of-the-mill shots against them. They, you, you need to be creative. You need to have a little something extra, maybe something off kickoff. I think Demos helped as well. Just jar them loose. Brody. Pops up to himself. Stalls in midair, but Hexy's ready for it. Again, credit to their defense. Hexy already three saves for himself. Go to the back wall. Double touch. Good day. Drops it down. He might run into Simba, and that he does. Callus trying to touch, trying to keep it interesting. Brody floats one, and good day with the save. Here we go. Minute and a half and counting. Anything can happen here. Defense! 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 Still anybody's ball game. What a feather in the cap it would be for Kepler 11 if they're able to sweep the number one seed in this division. Simba looks a little awkward on the catch attempt. Brody beats one defender, but Aspect is too, too many. And a big dunk from Good Day. Hexy Good Day trying to bear down on the young cub. Aspect to the corner. Callus rips it up. Simba goes for the redirect. Drops it down. Maybe the angle. And Brody can't get to it again. Credit to Hexy as he gets bugged by Brody. And Callus jams it in on the back end of the play. Oh, yeah. Banana bread, bro. So a few close games in the first two and now we have a 2-0 lead for little pads in game number three plenty of time left but it does look like kepler 11 may have lost their opportunity to sweep this very talented little pads team 50 in the corner Gallows. Gets up out of that corner. 50s to the other side. Brody's already up in the air. And Brody is, is, he is driving out there with intent. He is out there hunting. Brody with the double touch just to get it out. Just to prove that he could do it. And little pads do answer back. And Brody is our MVP, a goal for him. Nine shots for Little Pads total and five saves for Kepler 11. And that is, that is saying a bit.
continue to spectate. Callus touches to the ceiling. Brody put, puts it to the corner. Callus there again. Simba watching from, from around mid. As Aspect of Hope sends a wide shot to the opposite corner. Good 50 by Brody. Callus coming along. Goes for a high flick. Backboard needs a shooter. Doesn't have it. Hexy with possession. Brody wrestles possession away from him. Callus collects it. Simba still hanging out, waiting for his opportunity. Touch. It might be it. Goes up. Tries for the dunk. Comes away with a shot. Nothing more. More defense by Kepler 11. Floats it over. Simba daring someone to come in, and Callus sees his opportunity for a shot. Hexy driving in. Simba, open net. Good day is there. He needs the touch. As Simba and Brody lay out for that one to the orange corner. Hope gets it up to Good Day. Good Day sends it in. What a play. Good Day. And that has been the second time that a Kepler player is just a little too quick for a little pad, little pads defenseman from that outlet pass shot off the sidewall. Brody to the corner. Going the other way. Brody going back for defense. Looks like Brody might be spreading himself thin trying to trying to be the man on both sides of the field. Simba gets it around. Down the sideline. Has an opportunity. Tries to double. Callus is there. Brody might be it. No, Brody got smoked. And it's going the other way. Brody on the respawn. Pops it up. Looking for a tie here. Drops it down. Who is that? Good day. Who's able to high point it. If Kepler is able to hang on to this lead, we will have a post-game interview with Good Day. Simba drops it down. Brody. Down the sideline. Brody looking for a dunk. Hexy's there, but so is Kalos. Neither team backing down. Hexy left on an island. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. One to one. 235 remaining, so that'll that'll allow little pads to, to breathe the, the free air. Maybe a sigh of relief, but their work is not done yet. This is a very good, very capable Kepler 11 team that are good on, on in every phase of the game, and they have proven that. Hold on, Brody jams it in. A few ways this could have gone. Simba almost got to touch. It hits the post. And Little Pads gained the lead up by one. As I was saying that perhaps, perhaps they bought themselves some time and, and some relief. But they've done a lot more than that now. Good day. With some aggressive defense. Simba with the pass and a bump. And Little Pads are just next level right now. We are also available for the in interview. And I, I think Brody redirected this. So Simba has the touch. Brody sure enough does get his wheels on it. <laughs> Again, just to show you that he can. Little Pat's up by two with two minutes to go. And I, I can't believe that it was just the server reset. I, I don't want to believe that, chat. I cannot. There's another demo. Been a lot of them. You're not that guy, pal. Both teams not shying away from that kind of play. It's, it's 
so it's usually a toss-up on whether you'll see that at this level of competition Callus goes to the corner good day trying to play for the front post the aspect of hope sends it out down the sideline Callus <laughs> turns for a bump he might have been called off in comms Brody is there takes a 50 back to the blue side it's ticking down to 60 seconds but as we're seeing here Little Pats can't rest on their laurels. Kepler is going to turn the heat up on their end a little bit and find an extra gear for their play. But Brody, him, ball, goal, one defender. There's a pass and two shooters that get denied by Aspect. Big dunk from Kalos like he was born to do it. 50, demo, Simba up, spikes it down. Bounces around, but no goal. 30 seconds. Perhaps the damage is done. It looks like game five. So this is what we're here for. So 10 seconds now. Kalos just wants to touch. He gets smacked. Maybe another goal for Kepler but that is a loss for them and it is game number three we're gonna run predictions here but I gotta let I gotta let the fellas know I gotta let the fellas know what's going on Let's see here. Brody with another MVP. Again, it's he just has this innate ability to to recognize what's what's happening, what's required of him. And that's two back-to-back -back MVP performances. I'm running out of time here. Let me get the the predictions up. And there you go, chat. So the full intermission for the players. Let them breathe. Let them hang out. What up, Roasty? They got uh, your boys. Your, your boys are here. They need the reverse sweep. Good to see you in any regard. Callos rolls into the playoff the kickoff. Brody gets up and and just keep your eye on Brody. I, I'm sure that Kepler has has took notice of his elevation of play starting with game three. But it's one thing to notice and two, another thing to just to address it, be able to, to answer for it. And again, it, it seems like where the ball is, Brody is there and he is making a very great touch as Aspect of Hope is able to deflect a, a nice shot from Simba. Hope putting pressure on. Brody out of the sideline. Surveys the field. He sees Callus, tries to find him, but he finds Hexy instead. There's a shot. Brody on the back wall, ready to play it. Callus touches up to Simba. Simba beats last defender, but Aspect shows us his hustle, his wherewithal. And they're down the field going the other way. Callus battling back. Good day. Looking for the pass. It looks all right. Aspect of hope. Ojo, Cristiano, Cristiano del área. Sigue Cristiano. No. Upper 90 for Aspect. What a fantastic finish on the play. I, I thought with his delay, he might have missed his opportunity. But when you know you're good, you know you're good. And you're confident in your touches. But uh, again, if you're just joining us, the previous game, game number four, went this similar route. Kepler had another, had an early lead. And Little Pads was able to respond. Callow sends one. That one might be the response. And Hexy says no. Good save by him. Good day. Rips it away from Simba's Fennec. 
Here's Brody preserving his boost. Great touch, great finesse from the young man. As Simba drops it down. What a pass from Simba. Callus with the score. And he can pass. And Simba can pass and do more, but that one is in. Defender not ready for it. And that's, that's what we're talking about here is that Kepler has been so good on defense that the, the first touch, maybe not even the second touch, the second shot will do it. You need all hands on deck to make something happen. Exi pops to the other side, Kalos. And I haven't called Kalos' name too much, but he is another player in this series that has, has elevated his play. He, he looks a little, a little smarter, a little quicker, and a little more decisive with where he wants to be. Gets it over to Brody. Brody waits for a touch. Hexy goes flying. Brody, pass, and good day is able to make the touch. Commerce Dog, appreciate the follow. Aspect of Hope off the sideline. He runs into Kalos. We already talked about his big brain play so far, especially on the comeback effort. This is what our little pads, the number one seed trying to cap off a reverse sweep. And Ke Kepler just really trying for a huge upset here in this Tier 1, Division 1 IGL. Brody trusting Kalos on the back wall for insurance. Looks like Good Day wants a shot. He drives into the play. And Brody pops up. Kalos is there. Kalos with zero. Dunk from Hexy. And Good Day is much needed. Simba is around. And he can't get a touch. Let's it by. And again... Little Pants are back on defense. There's a shot. Everyone ready for that one. <laughs> melon Seeds. It is Melon Seeds. We had uh, our very own general save up 30,000 channel or yeah, 30,000 channel points so he can name a Melon Seeds. But uh but it can be changed. You just you just got to drop 30 30,000 seeds. Kalos looks fantastic here. Will that drop it? Will Kalos? How many, yeah. how many women just start blowing up his DMs? Simba told me that if they win this one, they're going to bully Kalos. They're going to bully Kalos into the post game interview, and we got to talk to him after that one. We know he's, he's going to be a, a hot commodity. He's going to be in demand, but hopefully he can spare a few moments for for humble old me. But if you want to win, if you want to come back, if you want to reverse sweep, if you want to make the other team think about where they are, where they stand in relation to you, you do it with plays like that. Simba helps out, advances it up the field, gets into the corner. Here's good day. This one's not over. We have the clip. And Simba gets the steal in the rub. And Simba doesn't need much else. He's going to park it there at midfield. Good day just trying to trying to make something happen. Trying to get a little crafty with his dribbling. Simba not falling for it. What are little pads up by two? Commerce Dog says they're, they're pulling away. They are indeed pulling away. And at the right time. Ticking down to the 32nd mark. And, and again, game number five did go the way of game number four. Callus is going to triple. Is going to triple his way. What the hell is going on with him? Oh, my God. He on X Games mode. I, I can't even. What is he on? What is he on? Commerce Dog. No, double flip reset, but he needed that third touch. Tier 1 is built different. I mean, put in simple terms, yes, but Kalos... Kalos must have hurt me. Talking about Brody. But here's Brody. Not to be outdone, and they just let loose on this Kepler team. I'm, I'm Unfortunately, I'm not going to have much time for the... The post-game interview. Hopefully, Callus doesn't try to duck me here.
and Kepler, a uh, uh, valiant performance for them. They look so good. They played fantastic Rocket League. Essentially all series long, but what are little pads? Get it done. Let's let's see here. Let's see if let's see if if Callus will will give me the time of day. One can only hope. I gotta. There he is. <laughs> GG's tall. GG's tall for sure. Come on, Kalos. Come on, baby. Like him. I feel like I have a lottery ticket. Scratch off. Escape Velocity did well. They did very well. They did very well. If you guys joined us late, you you missed you missed the attempt. And I, I guess uh Little Pads was waiting for game five to to let us have it. And and Callus will not take the interview. We got iced hard. GG. So so here it is. What are little pads will advance to semifinals start of the best of seven. They'll be facing the winner of doom esports or intercept armada. No intercept Amada. <laughs> so the four and five, they knock off the eight here. And this is what we see in the IGL brackets. It only gets tougher and tougher.